And welcome in our game day preview playoff edition. Montana State taking on North Dakota State. Second round playoff action. Jeff Colhane, Jeremy Jorgensen here with you. It's a new season. Here we go, right? A lot of excitement as Montana State comes to town. A very physical football team coming in to face the Bison. Yeah, I think the bye week helped the Bison. A little mental break. Uh, they were able to get away from football a little bit. Now they're rested. Pretty healthy. I think this team is pretty healthy right now, and that's key at playoff time. Right, you talk about Montana State. You talk about their quarterback, Troy Anderson. A throwback, physical. He's rushed for over 1,200 yards. 20 rushing touchdowns on the season. Tying a single season Montana State record. This guy's fun to watch. I'm looking forward to seeing him in the Fargo Dome. Yeah, he's really a linebacker uh, and running back. Uh, quarterback's probably his third position. Uh, he's only a sophomore, too. Mm -hmm. He's a young player, tough kid, fun to watch. Here's Marquise Bridges and Dan Marlette discussing Troy Anderson. He was, he was one of the first things, obviously. I mean, gosh, he's got however many touchdowns over this year, and it's in, insane how much they use him and, and how athletic he is. He's real physical, yeah. you know, so, I mean, I like – to think that whatever, if our defense do what we're supposed to do, man, I'm really not worried about what the other opponent does. So, I mean, he's a very physical guy, but I feel like we take care of business. That's that. So, Troy Anderson, heck of a football player, physical when he runs the ball, and Jeremy, their defense, a group that's very physical as well. All three levels, talented players across the board for Jeff Choate's group. Yeah, Jeff Choate, uh, his background is in defense. He was with Chris Peterson at the University of Washington, D-line coach, brought some players over from Washington. Bryce Sterk is a physical defensive end. Their front three is really good. Tucker Yates, a great defensive tackle. Grant Collins, a good middle linebacker. Yeah, big fan of their safety, number 18, Conkle. He's a heck of a player. And they've been great in the fourth quarter this year, just giving up right around 4.8 points per game in the fourth quarter this season. As you talk about their defense and talk about their physicality, Bruce Anderson discusses that up front. And then Easton Stick on the importance of keeping the ball away from Troy Anderson. They got some big guys. You know, they're, uh, they're really sound in their defense. They make turnovers. They make big plays when it comes down to it. So it's just kind of finding ways to get them out of their uh, comfort zone and get them out of their scheme or where they want to be in. Talking to the defensive guys, they got a quarterback who can run it and run it a bunch of different ways. And so for us, possessions are really, really valuable. And so we got to make sure we stay on the field and move the football. And then when we get into the red zone, we got to score touchdowns. And um, yeah, especially this week. So a lot of uh, key words here in our game day preview, expecting a physical football game and obviously stopping Troy Anderson, a big part to the contest. Discuss a couple keys, Jeremy, for NDSU in the second round game. Well, I think Montana State has struggled this year when you force them to pass the football. Take the run away. They love to rush the football. When they can't run the football, that's when they get locked up offensively. Yep, great stuff right there. Big game, Montana State, second-round playoff action at the Fargo Dome. For Jeremy Jorgensen, I'm Jeff Colhane. Big thanks to Rich Grossman as well. Our game day preview of the Bobcats.